Hello, this is Chris Wenker. I'm a GIS epidemiologist at the New Mexico Department of Health. This is a training video for the IBIS community of practice. I'll demonstrate how to edit a GeoJSON map layer using QGIS. For this exercise, let's say that we've already created or acquired a GeoJSON and we want to edit some of the spatial features. It looks like this latest version of QGIS offers two methods. One is through a geoprocessing tool, which they've had for the last several versions. The other method appears fairly new, and it allows editing right through the regular interface. Here I'm using QGIS version 2.18. So let's take a look at that, how to edit a GeoJSON, just like a normal shapefile. So here we've got a polygon, and it's already in the .json format. We just select the layer name in the list and toggle the editing button. So this is the feature that actually looks fairly new. In earlier versions of QGIS, you couldn't edit a GeoJSON with these tools. And I've been experimenting with this a little bit, and it looks like it mostly works pretty well, but there's a few things to point out. So this method of editing looks like it uh, supports most normal tasks, like editing vertex or creating a new polygon. and we can save those edits and toggle off the editor. If we switch to working on the attribute table, it's not quite so simple. So we can toggle on the editor here or here, and we can make some text changes. But if we try to save this change with the save button that's on the table window, this edit won't register for whatever reason. So what we need to do is save our edits with the button on the main console. And there we have it. So in the table manager, we can insert a new data field. But in order to save this new schema, it's forcing us to save the entire GeoJSON under a new name before letting us access the new table and entering new values. So that's uh, an inconvenient step. So let's take a look at a point layer that I've been experimenting with, editing the GeoJSON directly. This point file seems to be throwing errors when I try to work on certain points. Toggle on the editing. So these are some points that I tried to edit earlier, and now they seem to be completely inaccessible, and I can't save any new changes on them. So there might be something a little buggy with uh, this method of directly editing a GeoJSON. So let's take a look at the other approach. So this used to be done through a plugin, but now it's part of the standard toolkit. So this method involves making a virtual copy of the GeoJSON as a temporary file, making our edits on that temporary file, and then saving that out as a new GeoJSON. The tool is accessed here in Geo Algorithms, General Tools, Save Selected Features. We select the input layer and we make sure not to have any features selected. And then for the output, we use the Save to Temporary File option. So now this is our temporary file. And we can toggle on editing in this layer and make any changes that we might need. For edits in the attribute table, it looks like we actually do still need to use the save button on the main console. So in the table manager, we're able to insert new fields.
and notice that we're able to update the schema and save it directly in this layer. And we can open it and make edits to it. So once we've finalized our edits to this temporary file, we'll need to save it as something else. Otherwise, we'll lose it when the computer gets shut down. And there's our new GeoJSON with all of our edits. I've also explored editing a temporary point file, like the one that was throwing errors before. So editing here in the temporary file hasn't caused me any problems so far. Uh, it actually looks fairly robust. So let's say that we've received a new shape file that has some new facility locations that we'd like to add to the GeoJSON. So working with the temporary file and the shape file, we can select the new features in the shape file, copy those, then start editing our temporary file and paste those in. Save those edits off the editor. It helps that the shapefile had the same attributes table structure as the original GeoJSON. So one other thing to consider. If we created some brand new features during the edit session, we may want to take a quick look at them in Notepad++. So notice that for a brand new feature, the save coordinate values contain 14 decimal places. Recall from the video about minimizing GeoJSON file size that we can save a little bit of file space if we delete these excess digits and cut out the white space for these, these new features. So we hope this video about IBIS mapping has been instructive. Please check out the other videos on the IBIS Community of Practice YouTube channel.